हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू सो टुडे वी आर सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम माय कैलेंडर टू ओके वी हैड ए माय कैलेंडर वन एज वेल व्हिच वी ऑलरेडी सॉल्व्ड सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर इज लाइक यू आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग अ प्रोग्राम टू यूज योर कैलेंडर वी कैन ऐड अ न्यू इवेंट इफ एडिंग द इवेंट विल नॉट कॉज अ ट्रिपल बुकिंग ए ट्रिपल बुकिंग हैपेंस व्हेन थ्री इवेंट्स हैव सम नॉन एम्प्टी इंटरसेक्शन सो वी विल टेक वन एग्जांपल सो फॉर एग्जांपल सी हियर what does it mean is triple booking is like double booking is fine for example 10 and 20 okay let's say 10 and 20 is one event now uh, there is another event comes which is 10 and 40 so with 50 60 it is not intersecting at all right but it has some intersection with this event but this is first interaction i mean uh, there is one overlap okay with with this interval and 10 40 so that is allowed but if next time another event comes for example uh, this comes 5 and 15 okay so 5 and 15 basically again uh, in the range of this guy 10 and 20 right so in this is third time some overlapping is happening so that is why triple booking triple triple booking is not allowed triple overlapping so we will take one example so that uh, we will clear everything so let's understand further what is happening next okay so the that the event can be represented as a pair of integers like start and end time of it okay so this is what uh, uh, an event would be so a booking on the half open interval half open interval like start is fixed but end is not fixed just like in real life we say right uh, that i am in the queue since morning 8 a 8 o'clock but end is still not there so this is an example of half open interval okay so Uh, we have to implement the my calendar class okay and uh, uh, okay so uh, we have to implement this class to do this so basically uh, there is one method called booking that we have to use here this is our class let me show you so this is our class name and we have this is our constructor and we have this method which we have to fill now we have to figure out what data structure we would be using to solve this problem okay so we have to take care that triple booking should not be happen there so let's take one example to clear with everything okay let's take this one itself okay so i am pasting it over here so let's understand what is happening over here so first is uh, constructor so this will not do anything then our booking comes from here right so this is 10 and 20 so in booking we don't have anything right so there is no question of any overlapping so we will directly add this event 10 20 to our array right so uh, this is as it is this will go directly now we will go for the next thing this is 50 60 right so 50 60 there is no issue right because there is no overlapping between this this is 10 so uh, 50 60 is also valid right so we can say that this is also true right so this is true this is also true then we will go to this 10 and 40 see here is there some overlap yes there is an overlap 10 and 20 and 10 and 40 that means but single overlap is uh, is allowed so for this guy also we can say true okay now we are coming here 5 and 15 is there some overlap yes there is overlap at this guy 10 and 20 right so the we also added this 10 and 40 right so let's say 10 and 40 is also a uh, true so we will add all the true values into this list okay so now see here when we are coming to 5 and 15 it is basically uh, uh, falling in this and this both right so uh, both of them already has some overlap so that means third overlap is not required so this would be false now come to this guy 5 and 10 it doesn't have any overlap with any body so this guy is also true now come to this guy 25 and 55 right so where does it fall it fall under this right some part in this and some part in this right but see here this part is already having one overlap right so third overlap is not required it has already overlap with this so this is also false so this is what we have to do now we will discuss how to do okay so let's take one more example to clear with the our approach so uh, let's say initially nothing was there right nothing no event was there initially so let's say we are coming like this 
so the, this is our very first event which is coming to the picture so what we will do is we will make two list of the events one list basically tag the all genuine events which are booked okay and another list would be tag the overlap part of it so let's say we have one list called overlapped this is overlapped uh, list okay and one is we have like booking list okay which is uh, storing all the genuine genuine bookings okay so see here initially when we are coming this guy let's say this is very first event which is coming to our picture so there is no question of any overlap right so we are directly adding this event to here okay so 10 and 20 is directly coming here okay now so far nothing is uh, wrong everything this guy would be true only this will return true only now come to new event event 2 also coming so 15 and 17 so you know is there some overlap yes there is overlap so what is that overlap so to get the so to get the overlapped part of any two events what we will do we will find the max of their start points like 10 and 15 so what is the max max is here 15 okay so we will do 10 is the start of first event and 15 is the start of second event okay so if we take max of these two and the minimum of their uh, end time okay so what is the end time 20 is the first event and 17 is the second event so what is the uh, new event so new event the overlapped event portion would be our this thing here maximum is 15 and uh, here minimum is uh, 17 so this 15 and 17 would be our overlap part okay uh, you can understand in this way as well let's say our bigger event is like it is a starting at 10 and ending at 20 let's say this is a line like this 10 and 20 okay and uh, the next event is 15 and 17 so let's say 15 is starting somewhere else and 17 is ending somewhere here so we will say this is our 15 and this is our 17 so overlapped part can easily visualized here that this portion is basically the overlapped portion right this is the overlapped portion so this we can easily get we have to find the max of their start time and the uh, minimum of their end time so we got this red icon so this red part we have to store in our overlapped list okay so what will go here so we got 15 and 17 so we added 15 and 17 to our over overlapped bookings okay so 15 and 17 would come here and our genuine booking will no doubt would be added here so this guy second would also add it because one overlap is allowed so we can write it 15 and 17 so these are our so far booking now we will look for the new uh, some more new so we are true here we are true at the first as well now consider there is another event coming now suppose a new booking is coming here okay so 8 and 16 so first of all what we will do we will check is this falling already with some overlapped stuff so we will check in this list okay overlapping stuff so this is 8 and 16 and this is 15 and 17 so how to check overlapped stuff to check overlapped we have to find uh, uh, the we have to find the uh, maximum of their start time should be less than the or less than the minimum of their end times okay this will give the guarantee of uh, whether there is a overlap or not okay so you can easily visualize it right so see here this is our event so 8 and uh, 15 what is the maximum so 15 is the maximum okay now we will go to this guy 16 end time so 16 and 17 what is the minimum 16 is the minimum and this is basically greater than 15 this means this is an overlap okay so if there is an overlap that means this event would not be a valid event because we have already double uh, mapping already double overlapping happened third overlapping is not uh, allowed so what we will return here we would be directly return false here but now consider this was not a situation let's say we are coming with another event which is like something like this let's say we have uh, this event uh, start at 18 and uh, ending at 26 so we will look for this overlap list is there some overlap see here this is 15 and it is 18 so 15 and 18 so what is the maximum 18 is the maximum right 
so let's put 18 here now look for the minimum so 26 and 17 what is the minimum 17 is the minimum okay so we can put 17 but this condition is not true that means there is no overlap so if there is no overlap we can put this event into the booking event okay but before putting it into the booking event we also need that is there any first overlap making between these uh, any of these value in the booking list so we will go one by one into this booking list okay so we will come to here first so 10 and 20 and this is 18 and 26 is is there some overlapping yes there is an overlapping right so we can put in in this way so maximum is to get the overlapping part what we can do we have to add this value so what is the maximum here this is 10 and this is 18 so we would put uh, 18 here okay and the minimum of their end time so this is 26 this is 20 so 20 would be come here okay so we have added the uh, overlap part here now we will look for this value also is there some overlapping here so this is 18 and this is 26 so there is no overlapping here so we are done we have added this guy into overlapping portion and now finally we are adding this 1826 into gen1 booking list okay so 18 and 26 now after doing this we can return true right so here also we can return true so remember whenever a new event come first we have to look into the overlapping list is there something already overlapping with the which is already overlapped then we have to directly return false if there is no overlap with the overlap list then we will go to the booking list and first of all we will look for every value and look is there some overlap part if there is overlap part we have to add that into overlapping list and after checking this finally we will add this event and would be returning true okay so this is what we are doing and we are taking o of n time complexity so let me show you my corresponding code for you so see here for the sake of simplicity i am creating one event object okay event class which will, which will have two values start and end okay so that we will call that as an uh, event okay so after doing this what i am doing here i am making two things right overlap booking list and the booking list they are of the type event just same we were doing here right this is overlap booking and this is our genuine booking list so uh, then after doing this what we are doing is uh, this is my constructor of this class so nothing i am just uh, initializing these two class variables here booking and overlap booking of type array list with the uh, event uh, storage then we would be used uh, further for the booking method so before going to the booking method i have written one uh, utility methods right this is is overlap right that simple thing that if two events are overlapping or not so this is our event and this is the start and end so if we get the maximum of the start time and the minimum of end time if minimum of end time is basically greater than the maximum of start time then we can say this is overlap this is as simple as that nothing new okay now we have this get overlap event so this part is what it actually it is doing it is taking the common part so if let's say we have one event e and we have another event with start and end so here what we are doing we are taking the overlapped part here just like we did here right or this red icon right this red line we took with the help of this okay maximum of start time with the minimum of end time okay so these utility methods we would be used in our booking method now i will show you my booking method see here this is my booking method we are taking the start and end time right as the input so first of all what we are doing overlap booking we are looking for the overlap booking first and looking that is there some overlap so if we find any overlap we are immediately writing re returning false because this is this would be the triple overlapping that is not allowed okay so after doing this portion if now let's say nothing overlapping then we will come here then what we will do we will go through the bookings just like we were going here we were going this list right booking gen1 booking list so we will go through it and uh, we would be basically looking for <coughs> is there some overlapping event okay so get overlap event so if there is an overlap event is overlap event with the start and end then what we are doing we are getting that overlap part and adding that to the overlap booking okay so after doing this 
I'm adding my uh, start and uh, end event to my Gen1 bookings and then I'm returning true. So this is what I'm doing. So uh, let me execute this code. Yeah, so this is running fine. Let me try to submit it. Yeah, so it is accepted. 87.93%. So basically we are taking O of n time. Okay, you might look like, uh, see here, we are having two overloop, overloop bookings and bookings. Okay, so uh, uh, these are not like, uh, uh, in the worst case, they might have the uh, uh, up to same size. Otherwise, this would be splitted between the overlap bookings and the bookings. So overall time complexity is O of n only. It is a linear time complexity. So thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern, please make a comment over there. Thank you.